really looking forward to a fun day of hearing great music and seeing who might have what it takes to be a performer in some of the most amazing public spaces in New York City. Should be fun. What inspires you? Unconditional love and positive energy. Music and talent they share with all of the people of New York City, that inspires me. Love. What inspires me? Passion. If you don't have, you make do. Very, very, uh, words of wisdom from, uh, from my mother. I think what inspires me is, is people who try to do more with this instrument. like my entire American Idol judge fantasy, like just with bagels, it's awesome. I get inspired by everybody in New York because they, they inspire me when I inspire them. Independent artists or just artists themselves, they come with different eclectic stuff from different parts of the world and just being able to just take it all in. I wish I could say yes to everybody, but it's kind of tough sometimes. <laughs> Arts for Transit is spectacular. You can't, I don't think I've seen it anywhere else. <laughs> and so it's just giving, um, you know, the people that, that uh, commute every day just a sense of, oh wow, I feel, I feel better. There is a very big interest on the part of the strap hangers. And I, I, from the first day I felt that and that inspired me to keep going. And especially for children, the children love violin. So I feel like I'm doing a public service, for classical music especially. Truth, truthfulness, sincerity, that inspires me. Just that whole mood of the subway just really inspires me. They struggle, the common person. I see inspiration in, in a bird. I see inspiration in the sunset, and, and this is what I write about, and I try and bring that to the people. For, that's like a big deal in a sense, like play in the New York City subway. It's kind of, for some people, it sounds very hokey, you know, it's a dirty place and people don't care, but for me, actually, is it, for some strange reason, it means a lot. I just love seeing so many different kinds of performers, you know, doing what they love. To make your passion work in a way that um, that's still so vibrant and still so honest, yet um, true to you, I think is something that um, we shouldn't take for granted. It's, it's really a, a privilege for us all to be here. Bringing joyful music to people. Um, with the brass band behind us now. <laughs> if I earned 50, 50 cents busking or 50 cents through a concert, I think the 50 cents from busking is more valuable. Really nice to see artists' passion and, you know, and, and the whole process is something new. I've never been a judge, so. Well, the subway is excellent because it, the first the acoustic is amazing and you see all kinds of people passing by, so. I'm happy that I'm kind of part of a family. I'm very proud of being part of the Music Under New York program. It's, in a weird way, it's one of the, one of the greatest accomplishments in my career. That's lucky, see, lucky dude. My family inspires me. The love and support they give me. I think what inspires me is the response of the audience. The fact that we can inspire people on a daily basis and change people's lives. It only takes a moment to make a positive or a negative difference. So hopefully we're making positive differences. The thing I keep learning and figuring out is that you can be really talented and wonderful, but you may not be right for performing in the subway. It's a different skill set. Not anyone can do it. So it's, it's keeping an eye out for those special acts and artists who can do that. People who speak, uh, who touch your hearts with their music. Yeah, that doesn't have to be the most fantastic playing, but it, if it touches you, uh, then that's what, that's what gets to me. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I 
I breathe, there's more inspiration going into my lungs. And I start playing. Yeah, cooking inspires this man. Yeah, cooking. Cooking Meatballs inspire me. Uh, social interactions that it allows for and sort of encourages and allows, at least in the past when I've busked, I've met people who I never otherwise have the opportunity to meet and that, that's what it's about for me. Thank you to our hosts here at Grand Central Terminal and Metro North Railroad for allowing us to be in this beautiful, beautiful space. This is the 100th anniversary of Grand Central and what a wonderful way to celebrate being here. So thank you.